Muscle training may help your dog. This is JC Day, Certified Canine Fitness Trainer. Having a safely muzzled and calm dog at the vet can help your dog receive important medical care without the risk of injury to vet staff and without your dog practicing undesirable behaviors such as nipping and biting. Even dogs who are happily trained to receive normal vet care may still benefit from being muzzle trained because all dogs may bite when they are in extreme pain, such as after being hit by a car. Train it before you need it. Acupuncture or other procedures in which the dog could interfere with or eat the medical items or devices is another example of a use for muzzle training. Keep in mind that not all dogs, such as those with kidney disease, are candidates for sedation for medical care. Some dogs can receive acupuncture with a Kong or Elizabethan collar, and some dogs simply aren't curious about the needles. Being at a muzzle in public also tells the world that you or your dog need more space from others. Wearing a muzzle in public can also open the door to fun experiences for your dog that would not be safe for your dog or others if he wasn't in a muzzle. For example, running off leash in a group hike, assuming there's not a leash law in that park. Muzzles are also an excellent way to ensure that introductions are safe between new dogs. When used in conjunction with parallel walking and even baby gates, Muzzles aid in acclimating new dogs. Your dog will need to use his other body language, language other than his mouth, to communicate. Ideally, a muzzle would allow your dog to drink and eat through the muzzle, yet still be very challenging for the dog to pick up and ingest non-desirable, dangerous objects on the ground. By eating through the muzzle, I mean that you could deliver with your hands a treat through the muzzle. The dog generally cannot pick up food off of the floor when wearing a properly fit muzzle. Thus, muzzles are used on dogs to keep the dog safe from their desire to ingest non-desirables such as trash and other dangerous items. The muzzle may also prevent your dog from ingesting animal feces on a walk, which could upset your dog's digestive system. Muzzle training can also be used as a transition to aid in acclimating your dog to willingly accept a gentle leader or other head harness to aid with pulling. As mentioned before, the dog should be able to take treats, breathe easily, drink water, and pant with their mouth open at a comfortable opening. Drinking water is even a sign that your dog is comfortable in the muzzle. You may want to use a search engine or contact a dog club on social media to determine what types of muzzles are most popular for your breed and size of dog. Some very common muzzles that work for many people are the Baskerville and the Boomis muzzle. The Baskerville is about $20 on Amazon or Chewy, and the Boomis muzzle is a custom fit muzzle that ships from Europe. Here's an example of the measurements that you would need to take for the Boomis muzzle. The following clips are examples of what training will look like. The dogs are having fun and willingly placing their snouts into the devices. This is actual footage of me training my dogs the muzzle. Please excuse the informal environment. Strive to have muzzling be cooperative, calm, happy, and relaxed. We want muzzling to be a normal behavior for the dogs. You can also start your dog young and even work on these skills with a puppy. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. This is JC Day.